Been a little behind. We're going to get back on track by opening up some boxes I got from you, the viewers. Yes, it seems that I've had so much uh, time working on other things, I've gotten sidetracked, backlogged on some of the boxes that you guys have sent my way. Primarily, this box and a few others I got from viewer Bill. Just don't tell Bill, whatever you do. Uh, I did get a little behind, a little in petite behind getting around to opening up a couple of these boxes. Uh, I had to get through a whole bunch of other stuff. And of course, regular life always gets side, side traction, everything else from getting to reviewing. So we're gonna go and get back to the backlog and get this back opened up, not back opened up, but we're gonna get back to opening these up, starting with this box right here. This one again comes to us from Viewer Bill. Very nice chap for sending this along with many, many others. Anybody who is following this and documented this channel for a lengthy period of time. By the way, thank you for doing that. Uh, you'll know that Viewer Bill has been sending stuff my way for a very long time now. And uh, I could only say in my own humbled way, thank you again very much, Bill. You really, really don't have to, but uh, I am very, very, very thankful uh, and uh, you are such a nice guy for taking the time and sending stuff my way. Now, I don't know what is inside these boxes. This one, specifically, he did write, or I did recognize his name on it. No, this one actually didn't have viewer on here. But I did recognize his name, and I knew right off the bat, don't open it. Don't open it, whatever you do, because uh, you're going to want to open it up on camera. Uh, like I said, I don't know what is inside here. I don't, I don't recognize these. Let's, we've got a little letter. And as Bill could only do, sends me over also a picture with Audrey Ivy. Very clever combination of Little Shop of Horrors and, of course, Poison Ivy. You know, it's interesting that Audrey, and certainly being a large plant that devours people, you would have thought at some point somebody would have done a combination, an amalgamation with the DC villain Poison Ivy. I can't think of any other one other than the one that Bill just did. Fine work, Bill. Fine work on those drawings. Look at that. Inside, we've got ourselves uh, a lengthy letter. It says, The math of the mashup image. Butt heads made me think, see more butts. See more butts led to see more. <laughs> see more was in Little Shop of Horrors, of course. Little Shop of Horrors had Audrey 2. Audrey 2 was a plant which led to poison ivy. And then somewhere along the lines, I'm sure they worked with Kevin Bacon. Hey, Spot. More of uh, improper notes. A proper note this time, as I had well more time. Not sure how to describe the contents, but I think you'll assess them fairly. All the best, viewer Bill. Very cool. Uh, I will add that to my existing letters, all the ones that he have sent my way, and I still got all his artwork. I got a big stack of them. It seems like the stack is about this high now. Let's see what we got inside. So we got the butt heads. <laughs> what? <laughs> butt heads. That's awesome. Pull my finger. Okay, let's pull the finger. Is there something... Oh boy. Buttheads loud and proud. It doesn't seem like you so much pull their fingers, you lift their finger. This is brain fart. Prank and battle. And down below it says smelly trading card. It comes with a smelly trading card. There's what the back looks like. When were these released? I don't even recognize these. When did these exist? It comes to us from Wowie Canada Inc. Wowie Canada. It says, meet the Buttheads, a ghastly group who love to let it rip. Every full moon, the Buttheads complete or compete cheek to cheek across a, a range. Oh, my eyes. I can't seem to read today. A range of disciplines. Stank, score, loudness, and staying power. Who will take home the coveted Super Roll Trophy? Pull their fingers and find out. I have no idea. I don't have any idea when the... Are these new? <laughs> I don't remember seeing these in toy stores. Uh, next, we've got the Grim Ripper. 
Awesome. Uh, apparently they have, I didn't even read that on the other one, there's 20 sound effects. And also comes with, of course, the smelly trading card. I'm going to have to definitely get to these, get to reviewing these. I certainly need to get through a lot of these things that Bill has sent my way. This is Robot. Ooh. Ooh, I'd be checking the pants on that one. 20 sound effects. Like I said, pull my finger. Robot. And we've got one more in here. I don't even know how many are in the wave. Oh, this one actually still has the tab. We'll pull that one out. <laughs> Whoa, that is Tushy. Tushy, master of the martial farts. It just recommended for ages five and up. I don't even know how many are in the set. Anybody have any ideas how many are in the set of these? And uh, that would be that would be the contents of the box. Definitely gonna have to get around to reviewing these. Thank you very much, Mr. Viewer Bill. Can I call you Mr. Viewer Bill? For taking the time sourcing out these. I don't even know where he would have found these. But uh, these look like they're gonna be some fun pieces. I wish I could find if anybody could weigh in, oh, there we go. Manufactured and distributed 2018. I have no idea. I have no idea where he got these from. I sound like a broken record for saying this. No idea. But needless to say, we're going to go ahead and get those, get into reviewing those among the multitude of other things that Bill has taken the time and sent my way. And speaking of sending my way, can't help but also notice the splendid artwork that viewer Bill has done to create Audrey Ivy. And then he gave a, a substantially long but thoroughly clear uh, description as to how he got to that idea. Fine work, sir. Fine work. If you guys are interested in sending anything my way, whether it be pictures, whether it be poems, whether it be something you'd like to see me review on this channel, uh, just recently got myself an Easter card. That was really nice. Uh, if you want to send anything my way, I'll put the address information down below. And again, thank you to viewer Bill for taking the time and sending this butthead some buttheads. I used to be called butthead back in the day, only by like one person. So I guess that's not really back in the day. And he only said it like once. Okay, I really wasn't called butthead. But more videos, guys, will be coming your way. So stay tuned for those. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.